Hello and welcome to a cool smartphone unboxing with Gary. So this arrived in the mail today and it is a mini PC from Ventura. Now Ventura have been um, in the tablet industry for about 30 odd years and uh, they've made many many Android tablets but this is one of their first available Windows tablets. Now they're aiming this at school use. Sorry about this, it's a one-handed unboxing. So I'll just get it out of the bag. There we go. Move the bag off to the side. So as you can see there, we've got reasonable spec. We've got a 10.1 inch screen, 2 gig memory, 4 core Atom processor. 32 gig storage, dual 2 megapixel cameras, I believe, and up to 8 hour battery life. More importantly, it does come with a full office license. Now, given that this device is retailing at Amazon for £140, that is really, really good value for money. Just have another look on the other side of the box, and you can see that it is a 2-in-1 does have a detachable keyboard and it supports multi-mode as well. So let's actually open it up and see what we've got in the box. So it's a full Windows 10 PC um, aimed securely at the budget market. So opening the box, reasonably nice packaging. That's the actual laptop there, so move that off to the side. You do get a wee instruction manual, um, quick start guide with the basics, We silica gel pack, don't eat them, not a good idea. And then in this box I believe we will have the power cable. Now it is a proprietary power cable, but I believe this will also charge via micro USB as well, so really good for on the go writing um, as you can actually potentially really good for on the go writing I should say as you'll actually be able to charge this via a power pack so that's your proprietary charger and the charger itself has a output of 0.45 amp output I believe no sorry 2, uh, 2.5 amp output so it should charge at a reasonable rate. Let's actually reveal the machine. So as you can see there, very, very industrial looking design. This has been designed, as I said, for the schools market. So it's been designed with longevity in mind. As you can see there, you have a full QWERTY keyboard although this is a 10.1 inch device, so it is a slightly small keyboard. However, it does have, I'll just try and show this, very, very good travel on the keys. And they're very, very springy as well, so should give a reasonable um, typing experience. Now let's try and take the tablet off We'll come back to the tablet in a second. So the dock is a magnetized dock, very, very similar to things like this Acer or Spire Switch 10. And you've got pogo pins there for connection. And you've got some felt there to protect the actual tablet. No USB ports on the dock at all. Reasonable bit of weight to it as well. So shouldn't have a toppling issue like we had on some of the other devices that I've seen in this domain. The actual tablet itself, reasonable weight to it again. Um, and you can see there we've got a multitude of ports. So you've got your Windows key, USB 2 port, power key, 3.5mm headphone jack, a micro USB port and a mini HDMI. And on the back, a SD card reader reset button and your power button and there's your camera on the rear on the other side you have a speaker and the ventura logo on the base 
you can see there's the pogo pin connectors screen as i said is a 10.1 inch screen with a 12 i believe it was a uh, 1200 by 800 resolution i'm just going to double check that again yep 1280 by 800 ips screen supports wi-fi bg and n bluetooth 4.0 two meg cameras front and back um, and all the other bits and pieces you'd expect just to have another one we look at the touchpad the touchpad does not actually have clickable buttons on it so this is purely a touch surface and it works it's not the greatest of experience but it does work so we'll just get this powered on if i can pick it up with one hand so a tap on the button at the side that should come on you can see there there's your two megapixel front facing camera which is a bit of a weird position for it the only reason i can think they've done it like that is so that um when you're using it in portrait mode it is at the top but it is a slightly odd position um perhaps they didn't have very much room at the top of the actual device we'll just dock it there now something I was concerned about initially is when you lean it all the way back that it was gonna fall but you can see there that is a fairly wide angle for opening and you've got adjustable angles so you can have it fairly wide if you want it now I have actually taken this out of the box and run through the setup so um, it's just gonna boot up for us now Again, that keyboard. The keys are a little bit small. It's in the process of doing some updates on that. So the keys are a wee bit small. Your shift key on the right hand side is teeny tiny tiny. And you've got the American style um, enter key with the hash button just above it. Um, backspace key, delete key, all fairly normal. Um, and your left hand shift is a good size which is actually useful because i tend to use the left hand shift a bit more you've got various uh, shortcut buttons that are assigned to your function keys um, and you've also got some uh, pause play and skip forward skip back buttons so that is it opened up uh, we'll just get the start menu up there assuming it wants to behave itself Make sure that's fully docked. So you can see there the trackpad is not too bad, to be honest with you. And the resolution's actually not that bad. Uh, 1280 seems to work. Apparently the uh, keyboard doesn't seem to want to identify so let's just remove that again a little bit tricky to do one-handed there we go we're now in uh, keyboard mode uh, or desktop mode um, so the keyboard is now registering you can see there even with your start menu up you've still got a reasonable amount of real estate so we'll just open up um, some apps now because this is a windows 10 device in full desktop mode it should in theory support multi-window mode so let's just see if we can get that to work there we go so that's working and get a split screen so this is one of the things that I really like about Windows. The fact that you can relatively easily when it decides to play ball have a split screen UI. And this is something that is available on all Windows 10 devices regardless of spec. There you go. So there's your split screen UI. 
really, really useful for uh, when you're writing and you're collaborating off two documents. Um, let's just get some text going here. Uh, where's the text editor? There we go, notepad. So that's three windows open. And you can see it's a really positive sound from the keyboard. So, um, not too bad. Um, bear in mind again that this is a £150 device. It is available from, from Amazon. It is also available as a... There's a different variant called the Elite Win 11KT. This is the Bravo Win 10KT. Uh, the Elite Win 11KT is an 11.6 inch screen. Uh, exactly the same specs. Um, the big difference is the screen size and it will also be a slightly heavier unit um, these are the prices so it's a hundred it's 200 pound for the elite win 11 kt and uh bravo win 10 kt is 149.99 i will be doing a full review of this for coolsmartphone.com it's a little bit different from what we normally do, but I feel that this is an interesting segment and worth looking at. Thanks very much, and check back for the full review.